frostbite. Exposure to a temperature below freezing leads to severe soft tissue damage. So how does the body protect itself from cold? The body has the ability to maintain a core body temperature by the process of thermoregulation. During extreme cold, the body receives a signal from sensory receptors. For example, these receptors are present in the hands or the feet. These sensory receptors will respond to the cold and send a signal up to the brain. The posterior hypothalamus is responsible for regulating body temperature during exposure to cold. It is the anterior hypothalamus that responds to heat. Once the signal reaches the brain, the brain then sends a signal to the body in order to respond to the cold temperature and maintain a core body temperature. This is necessary in order to provide the vital organs with the necessary heat to function properly. The brain will send a signal to the smooth muscle cells located in the blood vessels of the skin and also the skeletal muscles. The smooth muscle cells line the arteries and the arterioles. During cold temperatures, the signal from the brain causes vasoconstriction of the arterioles in the skin, which allows the body to shift the blood to more vital areas of the body. When the temperature is at or below 0 degrees Celsius, which is about 32 degrees Fahrenheit, the blood vessels close to the skin start to constrict, which helps to preserve the core body temperature. Another signal from the brain goes to the skeletal muscles which quickly contracts them and causes shivering that helps to keep the body warm. As the body forces the muscles to work, it breaks down ATP that will also release energy. ATP is converted into ADP and releases free phosphate and energy to warm up the body. The condition of frostbite usually affects the hands and the feet. When the temperature drops below negative 2 Celsius, ice crystals are formed in the extracellular fluid. The water moves from the intracellular compartment into the extracellular compartment, which causes cell dehydration and death. The sensory nerve endings are affected early, and the condition of frostbite can be painless. Causes of frostbite include inadequate circulation in below freezing weather, inadequate clothing, wind chills, wet clothes, poor circulation, tight boots, cramped position, smoking, alcohol use, diabetes, peripheral neuropathy, and certain medications such as beta blockers. A patient with frostbite may have skin erythema edema, and there may be the presence of mottled skin. In most significant cases of frostbite, there will be blisters present. These blisters may be painless. There are usually two kinds of blisters present. The first kind of blister is a superficial lesion due to partial thickness injury. These are white clear blisters. The second kind are hemorrhagic blisters from a deeper lesion which indicates a full thickness injury. Treatment. Splint or wrap the involved extremity. You should warm the person and wrap a blanket around them. Do not rub or massage the involved extremity. And rapidly warming at a temperature of 40 to 42 degrees Celsius for about 15 to 30 minutes. If blisters are present and if they are clear and white, then debridement should be done. If the blisters are hemorrhage, drain the blisters but leave the overlaying skin intact. Hemorrhage blisters are a sign of a deeper lesion and they are usually covering a deep significant injury. Amputation for necrotic tissue is always delayed. There is a need to wait for demarcation of the zone of injury except in severe infection or gas gangrene. 
If the condition of frostbite occurs in children, it may lead to a cartilage or growth plate injury, and the child may later on develop short digits. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.